Pisces, welcome to your um, weekly reading for the period of June 29th to July 5th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Send me an email and we can set that up. If you're on YouTube, click on the link below for your weekly extra, which has love, career, finances, and health in it after the video. Um, in my playlist are my 2020 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign? What is your compatibility with your partner sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get into your reading. So we start off with energies prior to June 29th. And what I see you doing is working very hard, but not getting anywhere. Um, and I think a lot of times Eight of Pentacles in reverse for me can be people have a specific outcome in mind. And that's all they see. They want things to turn out a certain way. And they, they're really limited in their ways of thinking or doing it another way or learning from their mistakes. And because of that, they just kind of don't progress or they don't, they're not successful or they don't get to where they actually want to get to. Um, you know, maybe you want to elevate your standing when it comes to your career or you want to work on a skill or you want to work on a promotion and that just doesn't seem to be happening. Um, and it's affecting, I feel like it's affecting money matters, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles here reversed, so I'm feeling, you're feeling like a little bit of a financial failure, um, practically a little bit of a failure. You can't seem to make stuff kind of happen. Um, it's almost like no matter how hard you're working, um, you know, it's like two steps forward and one step back. So, and, and you're even putting things aside. I mean, you're trying so hard and you're just, um, I feel like you're not even paying attention to some people, um, you know, your personal life, putting it on a shelf, your friends and family, putting it on the back burner because you really want this to kind of happen. But uh, the frustration is that it's not happening. So we get into your energies the week of June 29th. And I don't like this energy because I feel that this person who is this queen of swords in reverse is kind of like not helping out the situation. She's saying stuff to you that's not very nice. Kind of like, I told you so. I knew you'd never make it. I don't know who this person is. Doesn't have to be a she. Can just be a feminine energy or just somebody who who's bitchy or being a jerk. Um, not supportive of you. And just, you know, kind of saying, well, look, no matter how hard you work, nothing ever turns out for you. I kind of knew that was going to happen. And this is kind of contributing to your vision even being more limited because you have this person like harping on you or nagging on you or putting you down all the time or attacking you all the time and telling you you're not going to be successful. But the thing is that because they're like this, I think that anger, um, that kind of makes you angry. So you decide you're going to do something about it. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, you decide, you know what? I don't care. This person is not going to hold me down. I'm going to figure out a way to do this. I'm going to get myself into a better financial situation. I am going to start that business. I am going to manifest some goal for myself and I'm going to show them. I mean, I really kind of feel that. So you decide you are going to make something happen for yourself. And um, so I feel like you continue to work hard. Whatever this is, it's really important that you have the financial backing for it. So finances are important for this, okay? So maybe you're working a job and you're not making a lot of money and you need to make more, um, you know, anything like in that regard. So you continue to work your butt off here as you move out of this week. I think you're even more driven because of, um, you know, kind of what this person has said to you. Um, and then along comes this page of cups, just out of nowhere. <laughs> Um, I feel like when you're working your hardest and, and you really start maybe to lose hope, this little page of cups comes out of nowhere. I was like, hey, I have some news. Would you like to do this? <laughs> would, would you like to do this job? Would you like to come explore this with me? And it could be something that's really creative. It could be something that, you know, it's work that doesn't even seem like is work. It might have been something you've always wanted to do. And this person's making an offer to you like, hey, I have this and, and it's new. Um, and it really it feels like they came out of nowhere. So, I mean, the hard work does pay off. It's the news that you get or the offer you get from this page of cups that actually ends up trickling in. And I do feel like it's a very welcome surprise because I really think um, you've really been going at it very hard and it's just been chipping away at your soul. So look for that um, after this week, okay? If that resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can set that up. Make sure you click on the link below for your weekly extra, which has your love, your career, your finances, and health in it. 
playlists, have my 2020 sun moon predictions, what is your ideal career, what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign, ask me a question on Instinko, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, best of luck to you. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.